Yo, it's your boy, the Irish Rasta. Welcome to episode 102. I hope you're doing well, wherever the hell you are in the world. As per usual, you know the good stuff. Like, subscribe, follow the Instagram, follow the YouTube, follow all the shits, TikTok, all the shits. Links in the description down below, but you can also find it all at irishrasta.com or linktree forward slash irishrasta. Let's just jump into the good news. Scientists develop insulin that can be kept without refrigeration. Oh, bloody insulin. Oh, did I say insulation? I hope that didn't... <clears throat> no, no, no. I think in my head I was like, I heard re re insulin and refrigeration too close together. And I was like, did I just say insulation? A team of scientists from a leading chemical labs in India has developed a thermostable variety of insulin that does not need re um, refrigeration. This is being hailed as a big breakthrough in scientific cir uh, circles as portability has always been a concern for insulin dependent people. Um, and I just know that for a long time, like insulin is one of those things that obviously like shit loads of people need and only a few companies in the world make it if I'm not mistaken. And they just keep like collectively, it's not like a monopoly, but it's like a duopoly or some shit where they've just, you know, they basically just co organize together and every year they just like raise the price and sink. So there's not much competition. Um, it's the apps opposite of competition. It's collaboration. There's a, probably a better word where like people do negative collaboration, um, conspiring. <clears throat> yeah. Like this is a conspiracy. So, uh, but it reminded me of the Open Insulin Foundation, which is super sick. Uh, we are a team of biohackers with a variety of backgrounds and skills and relationships to insulin and diabetes from many cities and many countries around the world, including Oakland, California, Baltimore, Maryland, Pariba, Brazil, Dakar, Senegal, Yaounda, Cameroon, and Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico excuse me, uh, we're working to develop the first practical small scale community centered model for insulin production to make insulin accessible to all. We envision a, a world in which communities uh, in need have local sources of safe, affordable, high quality insulin and where people living with diabetes and their communities can own and govern the organizations that produce the medicines they depend on to survive. I love it. A friend of mine and many, many, many members of my family uh, are diabetic and I think it's an amazing thing um, that these people are doing and I've donated to them before and I will make another donation to them and I will throw a link uh, you can find you can just google open insulin um, it's openinsulin.org is their website but really amazing stuff I have the so much respect for them you can go find I think it's a YouTube channel called Freethink did a YouTube video on them that I saw and it makes me feel all sorts of stuff so shout out to these people for doing the good work that is very hard and that somebody's got to do and doing it for the right reasons not for the money i appreciate that thank you missing dog makes it home safe after being stolen along with vehicle all those walks all those balls i threw for you all those treats every time i scratched your stomach didn't even bring the car back <laughs> no, i'm just kidding dogs are so sweet bless their little hearts um and he's such a pretty little dog as well i got a black lab mix but anyway, I just thought, I don't know why, I just thought that was sweet. And but, but I, I'll be honest, I probably just wanted to make fun of the fact that the dog didn't bring the car home. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, random question. What you got for me, baby? What incredibly strong opinion do you have that is completely unimportant in the grand scheme of things? What do you mean, like, every opinion I have? <laughs> I try to have, what's the expression, uh, strong opinions, weakly held. I try to be intellectually honest, right? Sometimes people will come to me and they'll say like, oh, what do you think about this? And I'll just be like, whoa, my brain has never gone there before. I don't know what I think about that. I need some time to think about that. <laughs> uh, or I can just give them, I can give them a snap judgment, but I would always be like, okay, I'm saying this, but I don't actually know how I feel about this because I'm literally just like thinking out loud but like I guess maybe this would be like that but certain things I've spent a lot of time thinking about and for those things I don't think just because I spent a lot of time thinking about it and I have a solid opinion on it that doesn't mean I think I'm right like fuck for the love of god <laughs> what, what does that even mean like I not only do other people prove me wrong I constantly prove myself wrong so like I just be I just find it exhausting to think that I'm right like I do it it's that's what's so fucking annoying is that like my ego be doing that where you're just like yeah nah 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 yeah I'm fucking I'm right about this and then I just be thinking I'm like god 
God, you know, it's like all fine and good to think you're right about something until you have to go and fucking prove that you're right. That's so fucking impossible to prove that you're right. Like, yeah, people can have these well thought out opinions and like hella scientific evidence and shit. I'm not even saying like scientific evidence, like ironically, like you could have hella actual scientific evidence, but still that doesn't mean like that it's going to be applicable in every case in every situation like nutrition like that's the biggest one fuck people get so fucking certain about nutrition they're just like oh this is the best thing for you or like that's just fucking awful like and, and they're just like dude everyone's fucking starting from a different place right like not only mentally but also physically like everybody has different reactions to shit so i don't know why anyone would really actually have hella strong opinions that they thought were right <laughs> like I mean, I just think, I mean, and I guess that not that what they're saying is that it's completely unimportant. I guess that that's it. It's just like, my opinion is just my opinion, right? Like, I don't think my opinion is important in the sense that it's actually like any more correct than anyone else. Like, it might be, but I don't know that. And I have no way of proving that. So like, I don't know, what incredibly strong opinion. <laughs> Here's one that's really not important. White shoes. Why do white shoes exist? <laughs> I don't give a fuck really but I just I just always think about that I'm like god you gotta like you buy white shoes and then you try and keep them clean that's so how do you do that you can't go I don't see like I saw a video sometimes so, of someone was like oh you like white shoes I'm not scared of you homie you can't step in a puddle how am I gonna be scared of someone who can't step in a puddle <clears throat> And that's just my vibe. I guess like growing up in the countryside, like just even if you were just walking on the pavement, like it's just like muddy ass fucking place. Like you just got to get mud on your fucking shit. Your shoes will be ruined. Um, so there you go. That's an example of something. But I have had I have lots of strong opinions. Um, and I think all of them, every fucking opinion I have is unimportant. It's just like, I don't know how to live my life without having feelings about things like please someone if there's a way to like do stuff in life like achieve and be kind and all that shit but without actually like thinking well i've thought about it and i think this is the right thing to like how am i supposed to have an opinion like how am i supposed to get things done without an opinion um, but then I'm like, I don't, but my opinion, I don't care about my opinion. Like people be, I'd be saying things and then people be like, oh my God, I can't believe you said that. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know anything. Like, I don't know about fucking insulin. Like, I don't know. Maybe there's some fucking reason why, own, like, they haven't made open source insulin. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not. I'm sorry. This is personal. <laughs> I don't need to be taking it out on you. Um, so I just think that, you know, I think that's a big thing of like, I don't know why people want to be right. Because uh, you can't really prove that you're right. And isn't it, I feel like it's just better to be like humble, humble and like just try and do what works. And like different things might work in different situations. So like, I know personally, I'm not like shaming anyone. I'm, sh I'm shaming myself from my own experience. I'm like, okay, like each situation you arrive at it, you try and figure out what the issue is, you figure out what tools you have at your disposal, and then you orchestrate a plan to try and solve that problem. But then you go on to the next situation and you're just like, I remember how the last one of these, and I just did this and everything was fine, so you should do that. And you're like, yeah, but it's not the same. So I know it's exhausting. That's why we, I feel like that's why we do this shit. We have shortcuts and biases because it's just fucking long trying to fucking do all of this stuff. So I feel for people, I'm not like, I'm not, I don't, I'm not saying I don't understand why we always think we're, or why we like to think we're right. And I'm not even talking about other people. Honestly, I'm, I should be saying myself like, um, so I just think like every, we should all chill with the concept of like certainty or facts or I'm not saying you shouldn't go after facts, but like the, I just feel like there's so few like objective facts like gravity sure it doesn't really matter i don't know anyone who like their opinion of gravity changes the way it works like as far as i'm concerned you drop shit and it falls like whoever you are at the same speed uh depending on what kind of planet you're on but you know what i mean like it's relative or would they ever look but like nutrition <laughs> how are you gonna th everyone's different there's like no there's like some studies but not enough studies like Every, like placebo is going to have a huge effect like commitment is going to have a huge effect like all the sorts of shit so it's like everyone's situation is going to be so different and it's going to be so hard to actually give out 
real like solid advice so i don't know why people are so like on a tip like yo veganism is the only way carnivore is the only way like i'm not saying everyone is either but just like the fact that there are any people like that that just blows my mind but anyway sorry that's my little personal rant anyway let's fucking wrap this shit up uh, boy where my rap set i'm in my rap hat that's for me, uh, I said I'm trying to get it at, no, no details, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, no details, I said, no, leave no traces, no emails, I said, yeah, I won't retell, I won't recall, I said, so we all, I owe you, I said, yes, I know the homies ball, it won't be long, uh, it won't be long until the homies ball, and take it all the way to the, the top level, mm, we rock as the top level, the not level, I said, about to knock the devil off the top level, Frequently slow, I said, yeah, yes, about to hit the beat with me, bro. I'm freaking for show. I said, yeah, freaking for show. Speaking the co, I speaking so slow. I said, you catch me into doing it now. Oop, it's the fresh shit. The spin fat, <laughs> yeah, I kick that. The spin fat, I said, about to go a long distance, but never travel anywhere like a spin class. I get that. I said, yeah, ooh, uh, 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 I kick back with some Kit Kats. I fucking lit raps. I said, some, some spliff raps. And what you want to get that? The sound right? Yep. I said, I'm up here on the, the news looking for the perfect sound bite. Does it sound right? I'm going to have to check it if your sound's right. I said, yes. I said, it sounds tight. I said, I'm up here and I'm spending the whole freaking damn night. I said, we spend the whole night. It's so tight. If you wanna do what I'm a flow right, get your whole life, get the get the these original. What you wanna speak and get it through? I said yeah, yeah, he can get it too. If he's original, anybody gets it, dude. I like, hear yeah, the rules. Anybody can get it like a pandemic. Anything he's accepted, cash credit and debit. Nice. Oh ill, I said I'm so ill, I grow kills. Fuck vegetables, I grow kills. I said yes, I said no drills, I grow kills. This ain't a drill dog, but this is a drill dog. Yo, I said a fill up screwdriver. Yeah, I fill him up with the screwdriver. Into his two eyes, sir. Filled up with the screwdriver. This fucking ill raps, that fucking psychotic shit. I rhyme off of it, I rhyme awful kids. Don't try any of this to get the TikTok warning. Yo, oh professionals tried this. I rhyme sick. I'm like, when it's a kid falling down the stairs, that's not professional. I said yes, I said. That's not to reference you. I'm not going to reference you. I got the step it too. Disease started. Fuck around. Don't even talk about how the disease started. A fucking bleed office. I said we need targets hey, for the for the for the. We need targets for the for the for the. For the Conspiracy theories. Where did the disease start? I said yes. I don't even know. I I don't even I don't even breathe art. I don't even think about it. I just fucking breathe shit. Leave leave art. Leave art for these peep tarts. I don't even know if I want to do what I'm taking it on the G art. Yes, I said check, check it on your G's hard. Your G's hard like uh, hard G's, soft G's. Are there soft G's like gnome? Maybe gnome is a soft G. I said I rock these. I said I'm a hard G like the one in game movement. I said yes, I'm trying to put it down. I'll show you how the game do it. I said yes, I said slow drifting. Does the game even make music? I'm not even sure. He's probably like 50 now. I said not even like 50 cent, but like 50 now. You know, 50 years old. I get it weird, bro. I said I don't even know. I said I'm, I'm drifting through the sphere zone, the time zone. I said living in my home in space and it's quite wrong. I said I've grown up in space, my home. I guess we all grew up in space. That's pretty tight. I said yeah, I did it right. This shit is tight. I'm an astronaut on planet Earth. Yeah, on ship Earth we blast off. Woo woo. Yeah, niggas know I got the bats off. <laughs> blast off with bats off. Now that's off. Oh bullshit. I rock the hit. Oh. Phil doesn't. Oh, my wife left me, so now I kill husbands and cousins. Anybody? Yes, customs. Yes, customs. Yeah, I got customs. They said you fuck around in the guns that I does bust them. I won't trust them. I won't trust them. I gut bust them. I gut lucker. I said I'm done dropping all gut busters. Yeah, fuck around with your gut busters. I'm butt nusters. I bet yo, butt nusters and nut busters are fuck lusters. Oh, fuck lusters, my brain's melting, I'm main helping. I said I take it all the way like cave dwellings, insane telling, it's spray melons. Mm. I spray melons, that's straight dwelling. Yeah, my brain melon, brain main, whoa, never mind. Poem 11. Oh my god, they told me that I couldn't flow it forever. No, 
Oh, I'm 11, it's our investing impossible rhyme. But still, I'm popping and I'm dropping the nines. Got the for shine. I got the for shine for sure, dog. But niggas know that I'ma have to get the fourth off. Whoop. Slabs pencil. I pass, I said, uh, I pass tense you. If you fucking act stressful. If you act stressful, fuck around and pass tense you. Like, yeah, I fucking knew the dude. I say, yeah, I'm out here acting fucking super cool. I said, I did a couple laps around your laps like a hula hoop movie, dude. I said, I'm going, yeah. I said, I come with the flavor like it's juicy fruit. I said, the deucey deuce. I said, I hit him with a couple moves. Yeah, me, give me niggas, call me the goosey goose, the whoopy goose. Oop, I said, I cookie loose. I said, I gotta fuck around and knock your toothy loose. Super deuce, ooh, super deuce them. Uh, I said, I useless human. I useless human, but I super deuce them, do for deuce them. I said, I fuck around and do nuke. Uh, uh, Duke Nukem, I fucking around and I fucking boo I don't even know, but it was a list exercise. I said, yes, I'm pissed next to guys talking about the list exercise. Doing fucking to-do apps. I said, I've done a thousand to-do apps. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> the irony, I don't want to do a to-do app. I move back, I fuck around, I fuck a tool clap. The service half, yes, I fucking murdered that. I murdered that when I took a fucking service half. Half your service. I have your service get wrapped in murders and slash you and serve you in the plastic burger. I don't even know, but I rap for certain. I said I rap for certain and I have to hand the curtains off. Yes, I said that's how we do. You put the curtains up and down. Shout out to Command Strips, the fucking rap sick. It's real life references. I said we might get the shit. If you fucking live life, if you live like me, and then you might fucking live quite weird. And then, well, yeah, good for you. The writing least, who am I to judge? I've been fucking dying these, I'm a dying beast. I'm a dying beast and I do freestyle, so I'm writing least. I said these people know that I'm a fucking try and feast. I said I try and feast on the drop soil. I said yeah, 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 a hot drop oil. Pot spoiled, pot spoiled and I dropped oil all over it. So now we gon' smoke the shit. I said yeah, nah, niggas know I'm all so legit. Yeah, all so legit till we're in the all solar system. We're all citizens of the solar system and niggas that go and smoke it with them until we gon' roll it with them. I said yeah, I said uh, uh don't Dope, 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 dope. All I see is dough, like my name was Homer Simpson. Oh, okay. I'm rolling with them, and the niggas know it's so specific. I said, I gonna get it if you wanna hold it with it. I said, yes, I gotta go with it. Uh, I said, I'm the quiet worker, a quiet worker, a white worker, a quiet worker. Yes, I'm a white worker, a nice worker. On the phone, you probably think I'm a white person. That's nice, certain, for sure. Student children. I said, yes, you could kill them. I said, you could kill them. <laughs> you can kill them, student children, said every school shooter ever. I said yes, I said you could do better, you school shooters, you do Trevor. I said I fuck around, just, I don't know, get a hobby, dude. <laughs> Work good hard at shit, get a job, make money, you don't like anything at all. Well, that's whack as fuck. I said fuck around and beep beep, Mack truck, I back it up. Back, back it up. Decide clock, niggas know that I ride off on my pops. If you want to do a time stop, the time stopping, I write awesome. Just kidding, I don't even write anything, that's I'm flossing. I fucking write often. Boom. That's episode 102. Thank you so much for showing up and doing the thing. If you watch to the end of the episode, I fucking appreciate you so much. Uh, do the, all the good shit. Like, subscribe, follow the YouTube. Uh, uh, get us on the Instagram. Get us on the TikTok. Get us on all the places. Uh, you can find all of the information in the description. But you can also find us all at irishrasta.com and thank you so much as per usual i hope you're doing well in your life and everything's being chill and i will catch you in the next one peace